Hello guys, Zeta99 here, and today I'm going to be talking about my predictions for the UEFA Champions League final on sun for, on Sunday morning in Australian time, by the way, because the game starts at 4:50 in the morning. And also, I just want to clarify the reason why I haven't been uploading in the past several weeks is because uh, for a while is because the my internet it, I've told in the previous video is really bad at the moment, and there was a scene, and I just couldn't do anything really it was just ridiculous of how it was going but anyways it should be going back to normal but today we're talking about the Champions League final Barcelona versus Juventus this is probably one probably the final that no one expected it, everyone probably would have expected it'd be the super El Clasico it'd be Real Madrid and Barcelona but Juventus said fuck off that never would happen as they did a great win against Real Madrid at their home ground. It is going to be probably an epic match. And also, this is going to be Perlo, the legend himself, his final match for Juventus before he moves on to the MLS. Which is obviously a big deal for why the Juventus wants to win. And in like all these situations, like for me, if there's two teams facing off against each other in a massive final... I always put myself as the under for the underdogs because no one would expect anything like it. Just you always go for the underdog because you always feel that something incredible is going to happen. Like back in two thousand five when Liverpool won it in, in penalty shootout and they come back, it was like probably the greatest final UEFA Champions League final of all time. But let's talk about the teams here for a second. We got Barcelona on one hand. Barcelona have obviously been absolutely dominant in the U the Champions League. They have beaten t they have beaten teams like Man C Manchester City. They think they beat Roma. They beaten PSG. They have beaten Bayern Munich to get to the final. And as of which they've got basically the majority of the control because they've they all their players have been playing absolutely brilliantly recently, like Messi. Like, up front, they've got Messi, Neymar, Suarez. As much as I hate Suarez, he's been playing absolutely brilliant. And who else is... Iniesta has played fan-fucking-tastic. Um, their defense is quite structural and pretty secure. They've got Bravo's a brilliant goalkeeper. And so, it looks... Barcelona... I've always... I don't mind Barcelona, to be unfair with you, because I've always, I've always liked Messi... He's been he's been a great player. He's was well, of course he's a great player. He's won like the Ballon d'Or like three times or something like that in a row. I think it was. I might need to correct that. But anyways, let's talk about Juventus now. Probably in my prediction, the surprise contenders for the Champions League final, as of which because they beaten Real Madrid in the semis to get there. As we all know, they won two one in the first leg in Juventus in Italy. But Real, because Real Madrid making making it two one to Juventus, they'd all predict that oh Real Madrid would just dominate their home ground. But that didn't happen. What happened? What well, it was it went down. I think it was one all at the end of the second game where I think it was one of the Real Madrid players got a penalty and then they scored making it two all and then. I think it was Marquisio off a corner. He headed it in like in the second half. Just make it 3-2 and aggravated score to Juventus. So, yeah. And then you've got players who are going really well. And people who want to win motivationally. Like Perlo. I mean, Perlo's played for Juventus for like majority of his career. For, for a couple of years now. I was about to say majority of his career. But that'd be just a bull-faced lie. And it's just weird to see like years ago. Juventus got him from AC Milan for free. Because he, his contract run down, he's probably like the most important Italian playmaker in the in the twenty first century. Of course, with them winning him winning with the two thousand six World Cup in Germany, so it's going to be pretty interesting. And also, Perl will be playing at the same ground he's played in two thousand six to beat France in the World Cup. So, and then you've got players like Tevez. Tevez is going pretty good, but the big factor, which is a big rivalry is Patrice Evra. As we all know, a couple of, he, he's mostly remembered for playing for Man United, but he plays for Juventus now as a left-back. And he's going to be playing against, for the first time in the world, against Luis Suarez. 
We all remember the fiasco between Suarez and Patrice Evra, and that's actually the reason why I hate Luis Suarez with a massive passion. And it's just it was just incre it was just stupid how it happened, but he also played for Liverpool he played for Liverpool and it's just coming really, really interesting. So who knows? Well here's a question. Will Patrice bite back? It'd be quite interesting because we all know about Luis Suarez is biting people and all that and bite, he usually like in the World Cup he bought bit an Italian player, I don't remember who it was, but it was someone some Italian player. So it's gonna get down interesting. And the game and it's gonna be played in Germ Berlin at Olympic Stadion, which I believe is gonna be a sellout match. I think it's gonna be like sixty or seventy or eighty thousand people there. And I think it'll be straight down the middle with fans because Juventus because to me personally, I think Real, like the Spanish club, well, you can't really say Barcelona are Spanish because they are part of Catalonia and they don't like being called Spanish, but like the Liga Bavivia teams have massively control, have put a stranglehold over the Champions League title, like whether it be Real Madrid or Barcelona or Atletico Madrid like two, a year ago. They almost won it. Thing was though, was that at the end, it's going to become an incredible match. And in my prediction, I probably already spoiled this on my Instagram. And I put down that Juventus will win. The, I put down Juventus would win the match because I believe that Juventus deserve it and they want to send out Perlo out of Italy as a hero and a champion, which is something that Juventus haven't done for a quarter for a while. But Barcelona, they've done it nearly every single fucking year. So the score in my per it, to me personally, it's going to go down to extra time, exactly the same as I said about fucking uh, the Arsenal and Aston Villa match, which still, I was still pissed off. Arsenal won 4 fucking nil, which was, I was, I just couldn't believe it. Like, I literally thought, like, oh, it'd, it'd go down to the wire, but no, that didn't fucking happen, because, so yeah, well, the score, I don't know, but I have a feeling it's going to go down to extra time or penalties. So I'll probably, it's probably going to be like nil nil or one all at the end of ninety minutes. So yeah, and for, my prediction for the first goal scorer will be um, probably from Barcelona. Will probably be I think Suarez because Suarez has been, pl been playing really well at the moment. So I think Suarez will be like the will be like the first goal scorer if there is one because we we never know. But in the end, I just hope it's all going into a massively great match, uh, which has put everyone on the map. And it's just the thing is though, like, and I'm talking about this, like, I put a picture. This is this is nothing to do with this. A picture of Perlo as God, and some kid talked about how um oh it's Poseidon, and I don't know what to think of that. I don't know if that's like was he caught is he called Poseidon Perlo? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really follow, to be honest, I don't really follow the Syria. I just know a lot of players from there, so please don't judge me if any Syria, any Italian or Syria supporters are out. I just don't know. Majority of the stuff. And. Well, sorry about that. Someone actually. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. I'm um, sorry, someone actually rang me, which is a massive shocker. It was just, oh, I was just a family member, just seeing how it was. But. In, what was I talking about? Sir, I think I was talking about Syria, like, I don't really understand about uh, the corporate side and all that, but, and also, in, with the internet going up, I will be doing a, a Bundesliga team of the season pack opening, it's just, I haven't had any time, um, I, I will be releasing that probably on eh, Monday, uh, like Australia time. And also, very specially, on Sunday morning, I actually will be recording live reactions of the Champions League match when I'm watching it at home. But there is one little thing. If you, if you see me in the video trying to be all quiet and all that, it's because the game on in Australia is at 4.30 in the fucking morning. So, I'd have to try and fr not freak out as much. And so, man... It's just going to come down to this. So anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. That's my end of the predictions. I believe Juventus will win the Champions League. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the very next video.